All oh, right, hey guys, what's going on? This is Hobfoot, and we are back with some more Final Fantasy VII. It has been a while since I've done any recording for this, and uh, I don't remember what we were doing. So yeah, um, these character models look funny. I feel like they're not. I feel like they don't look like they're supposed to. Uh, okay. This is interesting. Um, yeah, I remember what we were doing. We were here, we were doing something. Something, something was going on. Um. Was I messing around at some point and I forgot that I was? No, this says graphics. Okay, well. Tifa's skin just looks weird. Okay, well, anyway. Um, yeah, welcome back, guys. What's up? Uh, okay, we have to go this way, wherever this is. Head for the pillar. Follow the trail of shadowy entities to the support pillar. don't really remember what that is. So let's go to the story. I don't remember what's going on. And that's why we're here. Let's just do a quick rundown. I guess we're, like, a good way through the game. You know, maybe not two-thirds-ish. One-half to two-thirds, looking at this. Um, so, let's let's uh, let's take a look here. The destruction of Mako Reactor 1. Cloud, a mercenary, is hired by a group named Avalanche to help them blow up Mako Reactor 1. Their goal is to stop the Shinra Electric Power Company from destroying the planet. Avalanche has successfully blown up Mako Reactor 1 and fled into a passageway that leads to Sector 8. Shaken by the devastation wrought by the explosion, the group heads for their base in Sector 7. Home Sweet Slum, Chapter 3. Their mission concluded, Cloud and the others disembark at the Sector 7 slums. Situated below the plate, no natural sunlight reaches the town, but despite its bleak appearance, this is where the, mem the members of Avalanche call home. Chapter 4, Mad Dash. Cloud agrees to help Jesse with a secret job topside in Sector 7. When they reach their rendezvous point, however, Biggs and Wedge are already waiting for them. After a chat, the four decide to all go together. Chapter 5, Dogged Pursuit. Cloud replaces the injured Jesse and joins the mission to blow up Mako Reactor 5. The team boards the train for Sector 4, nervous about the mission to come. Man, I forgot about this. There was so much, like sidestepping things like that it was like okay cool you're in like chapter five we're like this is the thing we're doing and then like after that we've just been like on the side quest thing with Aerith basically and it's like oh oh here we go you know now we're doing the thingy wait did I read this yeah Light the way! Barrett, Cloud, and Tifa follow the secret passageway from the corkscrew tunnel until they reach the interior of the Sector 4 plate. Mako Reactor 5 is now closer than ever, but they still must make their way through this rusted maintenance area to get there. Chapter 7, A Trap is Sprung. Uh-oh. Despite unforeseen obstacles forcing many changes to the plan, the three have made it inside Mako Reactor 5. Determined to make the second bombing operation a success, the group heads for the reactor's core. And then, yeah, this was, so this was like the first third, we didn't do anything, and then we meet, uh, come up being with Aerith again. Budding bodyguard, Clouds falls from the Sector 5 reactor scaffolding and wakes up on a bed of yellow flowers. There inside the church, he reunites with Aerith, the flower girl. Flower girl, flower girl, zoom dum 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 flower girl. Chapter 9, The Town That Never Sleeps, Aerith guides Clown through the outskirts of Sector 6, an abandoned, dangerous, rocky area, lit dimly by the moonlight. Lit dimly by the moonlight! Uh, Chapter 10, Rough Waters, falling through Corneo's trap door, Cloud and the others find themselves in the sewers below Sector 7. If the plan to bring down part of the plate is true, then Sector 7 slums are in grave danger. Scared and shaken, the party sets out into the underground sewer system. I feel like this wasn't all that long ago, but it was like three chapters ago now. Very interesting. And chapter 11, Haunted. This, I feel like, 
I don't know if this just took a while, or it's like more recent, so it feels like it took a while. I don't know. When the group finally crawls out of the sewer systems, they find themselves amidst the train graveyard in Sector 7. Not knowing who or what to believe, and uneasy about their uncertain future, they hurry toward what they assume to be the exit. Assume. And now, here we are, where I really need to know what's going on, because I've forgotten. Uh, chapter 12, Fight for Survival. The sound of gunfire echoes around the Sector 7 support pillar. Avalanche has walked into a trap and are surrounded by Shinra forces. Now they are locked in a desperate fight for survival. Cloud, Tifa, and Aerith head for the support pillar, determined to help their friends and stop Shinra from bringing the plate down on the slums. Yes, okay, now I remember. We, uh... We're gonna get dropped on. Oh, apparently there's a quest thingy. I guess we've done all these things. Okay, interesting. Um, all right, well, I guess we're gonna go. Oh, it's just a puddle. Are there helicopters? Am I hearing? Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, I kind of remember the helicopter dealy now. They're all fighting up on their pillars. Whoa, hey, Tifa, you better watch where you stand. Um, yeah, there's explosions up there because everybody's fighting, and... Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm remembering. I'm remembering. Here we are. What you got? Come on! <gasps> Yeah. This thing's coming in clutch. You okay? Cloud. It's Shenra. They're trying to take out the pillar. I know. I have to go back. Barrett and the others are still... Stop. Stay with Wedge. I'm going up. Sure. I'm going to. I can still fight. Biggs, he... They were shooting at me and he... Wedge, please. Let Cloud handle it. Don't worry. I'll patch him up. Hang on, guys. Help is coming. Wedge, listen to me. You stay here with them. Super Merc is coming. About time you showed up, Merc. Gotta do my part to clear the path before you steal the show. And that's how Biggs died. All right, man, we got like, we got dead peeps all over. Are these all soldiers? Any of these Shinra peoples? They're just Final Fantasy VII stormtroopers, that's all. Okay, not allowed to go that way, I guess. All the way those things hop. And you're just like, boom. Okay. Uh, be helpful to have a light. Okay, I can rest. I'm pretty sure these won't break. Nope. What's our mappy thing look like here? Just going straight up, all right. Oh man, that looks like one of those things where those robots that we don't want to fight get loaded up into. Some 
sort of sled thing on the way down. It's uh, more than a little odd, I would say. Hmm. Well, I think I'm gonna need to buy some ethers. So let's see if we've got any then. Can I even buy anything? Not really. Oh, well, that looks like enough ether, honestly. Hmm. I don't think I really need any of this stuff. Yeah, I think I'm all right. And I'm all rested up, so that's good. But since we're here, we might as well save our game. And we don't have to watch all the cutscene-y stuff again. Why watch a cutscene when you could not? Uh huh. Why aren't they holding the pass right here? Oh, I'm getting sick of this. Don't they have anything better to do? Tell me about it. You see how hard we got hit over here? Shit. What's wrong with these people? Did that go one, three? L2 is one. Stay frosty, boys. It's gonna be a long night. Roger that. This is Echo 1 3. What's the situation up there? Mm. Okay, quiet, so oh, they're over there. Okay. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oops, actually. Oh, I don't have thunder. Darn it. Let's do assess. I think I've probably got all these things already, but let's uh, just do this. Um, yeah, they're weak to fire. Oops, sentry gun. Only affected by non elemental and lightning magic. So, yeah. And of course, I don't have. Wait, why did I come alone again, by the way? I don't. Like, I'm getting ready to die here. That's not great. Here, let's, uh. Oh, and I only have a weak cure. Ouch. Okay, let's. No escape. Okay, I'm gonna die. This is pretty bad. Oh, they're healing. What the? Okay, got them both. Cool. Yep, and I'm dead. That's that. Let's. Okay, spells, cure myself. I don't even have the good cure. We're gonna walk all the way over there to that sentry gun like this. Because I'm really fucking tired of getting shot. I'm waiting. Okay, I don't know what that was about. Is that like whether he's got a lock on or something? Is that it? Still in it. Is that it? Come on. Sorry. Okay, this this isn't a terrible strategy. So long. Better than what I had before. Was never in doubt. Hopefully I don't have a whole lot of those things to bite again. Like that. That honestly wouldn't have been too terrible if I'd had Yeah. 
if I'd have had uh, lightning and could have gotten rid of that uh, parrot right away, which would have been the smart thing to do. Hmm. Seems like a weird place to put a platform, but all right. I'm gonna have to be careful with the rest of this. Is there a sentry up here? Oh man. We got riot guys again. What the fuck? I don't see sentry people here. We're gonna. I've been squishy, so you know. Okay, yeah, I don't see any sentry gun things. Let's, uh, I don't know if I have anything on the, uh, elite riot troopers, so. Too bad. Elite troopers belonging to Shinra's public security division who were promoted from the ranks of riot troopers due to their superior ability, easily identified by their spiked shields. Their shields protect them against frontal attacks. Try attacking from the rear or you're using magic. Okay, so, so far, pretty good that I've got, uh... No Oops. Okay, now what I was trying to do. That's that. Need a light. Enough. Let's go. Okay, that definitely could have been worse. I don't think that was necessarily the best showing, but. It would have been worse, definitely. How did I suddenly end? I went up three flights of stairs and I'm this far above the slums already? Come on now. Come on now, Square. You're better than this. Orbs of gravity. Up oh, there goes gravity. Whoa! What the? Let's see. Will fire really do anything to them? I doubt it, but we can try. Well. See, that's what I was worried about. Now. Let's finish this. <clears throat> Nothing to it. <laughs> yeah, like I'm suddenly like hundreds of feet up and I've gone up like two flights of stairs. Okay, let's go ahead and... Oops, that's not the right button. These guys. That guy. What is with these guys? Are you ready for a Dementor's kiss? Fix. You made it. No, I might not. Hey, is Wedge? Don't worry, he'll bounce back. That's good to hear. I could have used some extra padding myself. <coughs> Don't talk. It's pretty bad up there. Cloud, promise me. Don't let it be for nothing.
Why don't you say I won't? I won't. <laughs> You're a good man. Giving me that... that comfort. Ha. <laughs> He knows, like, oh, yeah. You're just lying. One more thing. The Leaf House. It's an orphanage. In the Sector 5 slums. Yeah, yeah. The kids. They're great. I used to visit. They... <coughs> Use your freaking... Yourself. Let me guess. Not a fan of kids. No. <sighs> But you have so much in common. Good luck, Cloud. Our future is in your hands. Let's, let's not use our heal materia. Not in such a serious world. Okay, well. Don't have to go through all that again. I just kind of went through the, oh, I won't, but... I was kind of like, I kind of wanted to hit, click the, you know, uh, what about you? It seemed like a cloud thing. Okay, so that's one way to go. And I guess we're not getting up the stairs there. like nudge his body or something just to make sure all right well guess he's dead i didn't know he died i guess somebody had to and wedge is the kind of character that's like yeah he'd be happy with that he'd be happy with the way he went out we went out fighting the cause and everybody'd be like yeah i feel for him everybody get behind him but if you kill wait did i say wedge or biggs i meant biggs but if you kill Wedge, everyone would be like, ah, oh, come on now, really? So you gotta kill... You gotta, you gotta kill Biggs. And this guy, we're not gonna talk about his family. That'd be too, that'd be too real. We don't wanna do that. Okay, another, another avalanche boy. Another snow boy. I look, whoa, okay, well, that's a thing. Let's, um... Let's do this. Okay, hella trooper. Troopers belonging to Shinra's public security division. They wear power-enhancing suits and use rotors to fight while airborne, like any sane person would. They perform reconnaissance and can pursue targets to areas where other troopers cannot. While in midair, wind attacks rapidly fill their stagger gauge, evading their powerful aerial aerial aliens. Evading their powerful aerial attacks makes them susceptible to staggering. Okay. Immune to stop and berserk, but weak to fire and wind. Interesting. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't even get near them. Now let's hit the one right in front of me. Burn. Bitch. Bring it. Is that it? Oh, you're all right, buddy. Oops, okay. I'm not yet.
here, let's do a mega potion. Ain't dead yet. I won't give up. Jesus. Let's see if I can limit them. I'm too far away, I think. Alright. Let's freeze up some of these potions. We got so many of them. Gosh, these freaking things. Three fifty, and when we're at seven, nah, that'd be all right. Ah, oh, can't cut them to little bits. Darn it. All right, we got some Mako shards. Mega potion. Nope, it's an ether. Well, ether's still gonna come in handy. You know, I didn't really want to, but uh, I think I'm gonna regret not if I don't. Uh, I need to. Well, let's check these things. I should totally upgrade some of this stuff. That'd actually be pretty smart. Looks like we got some eights left. I'm gonna steal whoever's got the uh, cure with Cura on it. One of them's got it. I don't know who. Buff duration or attack damage boost, aerial attack damage boost. Punisher mode. No, I'm not really worried about that. Let's go aerial attack, because why not, I guess. Plenty of stuff for Tifa. So we can do attack power 10, max HPs, max MPs, limit break damage. Or like we can do any of this stuff. Four extra points, I might as well get the 18. Metal Knuckles. It's so metal. Oops. Bunch of... We can do an attack power 8 or a speed 4. Or... Oh, let's do a materia slot. That actually would be... I 
Because you never know if you're going to want to go back to a, another set of gloves for whatever reason. Although, yeah, you're clearly not going to have as much materia as this pair of gloves has. Attack 8, magic attack 8, MP, elemental damage boost, debuff resist. Attack 10, speed 5. Let's go here. We gotta... Let's get her some oomph. That's better. 48's much better. Fourteen. Alright. Magic attack six. Any of those things. Five or ten percent boosts. And we can do some attack power up. Let's do some attack power up. That's always useful. Doesn't really do much magic attacking, so I think we'll be alright. Although, honestly, she's learned her thing. We might want to have her switch to these guys. This looks like it came off of Darth Vader's suit or something. Oops. And we want Aerith. Physical damage reduction, magic damage reduction. Physical's probably best. It's not really her strong point. Did we never upgrade her staff? Did I just see 80 there? Is that a real thing? Fire boost, lightning boost. Magic attack, magic attack. Yeah, let's do some magic attack. That's what she actually uses. Oh, we, okay, we got a new rod for her, but we hadn't... I forgot about that. We hadn't upgraded her proficiency in that thing yet. Okay. I definitely just plum forgot. Okay. We can do two of these. We might as well. She doesn't really do debuffs. Let's go with this guy. Okay, we definitely need to upgrade the materia plots for this guy as much as possible. Oh, two in this one. Oops. And none on that one. Oh, boy. So we're only going to end up with four slots. That's not the best. Did it not link? Why did it give her another one? Okay. Maybe it's predetermined? I just really thought it would link the first two before it gave her a second... Okay, well. Bunch of magic attacks. I don't know what this bloodsucker is, but let's... Recover HP when enemies are defeated in battle. I like that. Increases damage of attack spells. Cast when it max magic points. But that never happens, so who cares? Let's do max MP. And I guess another magic attack. Damn, 108 with this one. But she definitely loses.
Definitely loses a slot. Don't have to worry about that later. Anyway, with all that stuff. Let's move, let's remove our Healy. Oh, we're about to get the next one. Alright, so we'll just leave it. A little more experience and we'll have the next, we'll have Kira anyway. Well, I'm glad we did that anyway. Drink some tea real quick. My boom arm is like extra swingy and I don't know why. Oh, that's why. Somehow the thing came on. Oh, All right. Um. Okay, is this where a wedge fell from? Okay, that looks like where we walked up from. All that down there. Looks like where we entered. But, like, the outside... Pictures, the outside art, or whatever, makes that look like it's... Even though it's on level, we could look out the fence and see it's on a level when we came in. It makes it look like a million feet above the rest. I don't know if I'm really a big fan of this in a way, like... It's got a very PlayStation 2 vibe where it's like something in the distance is just a picture. You can't really make any renders. And this allows it to be more detail, but at the same time, it definitely doesn't look real. You can tell, like, that's a picture down there. I don't know. Trying to see where's the enemies in this one. Ah, <laughs> uh, bitches. Gonna get jumped by flying boys again. Yep, sure am. Oh my gosh. Get the. Yeah, thanks. Let's attack the people I actually wanted to attack. I think I threw him over the edge. That's awesome. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay, we got healing anyway. That's good. And if I manage to survive. I'm glad it healed up and or leveled up in the middle there. Second wind. Woo! Whatever. convenient that they're just like right outside of the that it? steady no Need a light up. there we go I'd rather have just had them shoot me again
Ooh, man. I really rely on uh, the rest of that party, that's for sure. Um, what's my max MPs here? 48. What does an ether give you? 20? Right, broken thing right there. Man, I soups don't like them helicoptery boys. Hey, Moogle Metal. I wonder if I'll ever manage to go back where I can spend my rest of my Moogle Metals. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and save our game because this is a little touch and go, getting a little rough. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad if I didn't chop all their stuff up. That's probably what they're most angry about. Stop chopping my stuff. Hmm. That doesn't look like up to up to code. God, you noisy ass helicopters. <laughs> Don't stop, you're gonna get shot, you dumbass. Testing. Testing. Attention, Avalanche Skull. We know all about your evil plans to destroy the pillar. But the Turks, uh, the, but Shinra. That's us. Won't let you get away with it. So go crawl back into whatever hole you crawled out of. Or something. That ought to do it, right? <laughs> Good enough. Wait, I know you. Mr. First Class. and surrender. Shinra does not negotiate with terrorists. Yay, anime stuff. Thank you. That was a close one. How is it? Much better, thanks. I'm sorry. I can't stay here. I have to help them. Go. Follow your heart. There's a bar in the center of town, 7th Heaven. I need you to get Marlene to safety, right? It's okay. I'll find her. Huh? 
Can you take her to the bar for me, Wedge? Consider it done. Now get up there and kick Shinra's ass. Come on. Seventh Heaven is this way. Wedge, wait! You guys oh. can't stay here! Okay, we're Aerith now. Alright, well, let's, um... Let's change out our weapon here. Oof. Magic goes up, but everything else goes down. I'm not sure why. Probably uh, stuff selected in the... Within the uh, level up -y part, anyway. Uh, yeah. Well, let's look at uh, what for... She's got Ice Linked, Prayer, Magic Up... Healing. Oh, apparently healing's maxed. Refocus. Wind. I don't know that she really needs refocus, to be honest. So let's do that, and then if we go here and do that... No, it didn't push it to this side for us. Wind, okay. Healing. Should we try and... Well, I guess there's not a healing uh, left. I was going to say, should we try and get a, something else to... Uh, MP up, I believe. That's a magic up. Ah, uh, well, let's try. Let's try doing something else. Well, then we don't have any healing. I need at least some heal. Okay. Well, you know what? This is clearly... This was not a smart thing. And actually... Time to waste. We've got something... This is to take less damage when equipped by non-active characters, but now we're active. Um, avoid incapacitation once per battle. Enter battle with auto life status effect. Berserk. Immune to sleep, immune to poison. Spirit by five. Oh, sure. Let's just do that. And we'll just see how this goes. Okay. On, through, God damn it. Oh, I can't look around. I can only I'm follow sorry. him. Open this gate Go ahead and save here. And actually, we're about it. Our hour, so we're a little bit before. Whoops. Away from the gate. You have to open the gate. If you don't let these people through, back off. It's not gonna happen. Wait. I'm no good. Not to anyone up there or down here. That's not true, Wedge. Don't give up hope yet. We could still save a lot of lives. You don't think we're gonna stop them from dropping the plate, do you? I wanna believe that we can still win somehow. 
but something in my gut tells me we're due for a reckoning. Just this feeling. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. But that's no excuse to give up. I don't want to look back one day and wish I'd done it different. Right here, right now. I need to know I did everything I could. I'm not sure what's gonna happen next. But I am sure I don't want to regret the choices I make tonight. Uh, our lives are in your hands. If you don't open up, we're all gonna die! <clears throat> uh, I always knew I liked that soldier. No, sir! I will not obey that order! This way, everyone! Quickly! Quickly! You can't just uh, fight! Oh. Wedge! Huh? Seventh Heaven is just down this road, isn't it? Head straight and look right. You can't miss it. Uh, Don't worry about me. All right. I'll get these people to safety. <laughs> okay. Sector 7, please! Of you need to get as far away from Sector 7 as possible right now! Go to Sector 5 or 6! We'll anywhere but here! We work together! Ah, we're just chilling, having a talk. That's all. Push, you guys. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, big area. Oh. You all have to get out of Sector 7. Now, please! Mm -hmm. Slow down. Do you know what's going on? What do they want with a pillar? Well, there's still time, but... They're going to drop the plate on us? Yes. Those sons of bitches! What good do they think that'll do? Feel free to cry about it later. Right now, we need to get everyone to safety. Wait, the watch should clear the roads first. Ah, good thinking. Up to it. Avalanche, I take it? Just a friend. Tell Tifa to lay low. We'll take care of things here. Mm. Oh, he's like Merle. Tomorrow. I've got to get to seventh heaven. Okay, for real this time though, we're gonna go ahead and end our episode. Uh, because we're close enough to the time limit. Thanks so much, guys, for tuning in. Appreciate you hanging out here with me on the Brat Cat channel. If you liked or disliked, this episode was kind of like all over the place, so you know, whatever. Just hit the thummies to let us know. Um, what you're thinking, what you're feeling, and let us know down in the comment section why you feel the way you do. Sub if you want to help us out. Hoping we can get to 100 subs and we can get that custom URL. That'd be dope. And if you want to keep up with anything and everything going on Bratcat, you should follow us on Twitter at Bratcat Media. And anytime anything happens, it gets posted right there. You can also follow me on Twitter at Hobfoot if you would like to do so. It's mostly me just being angry about stuff, being an angry hobbit wolverine type short person and um oh yeah we got a twitch twitch.tv slash bracket media so that's a thing you should check out as well yep i think it's everything yeah that's it for me thanks so much peace out girl scouts